Hello there. Good morning. Welcome to Sabbath School. It's lovely to see you. Did you have a good week? I hope that you did because I think we should come and say hello to each other and we say good morning. There are lots of ways of saying good morning. We could shake hands, we could give a wave, we could go hi. There's so many ways of saying good morning. Now when we sing good morning to you as you come to Sabbath school, we normally shake your hand. But because I'm over here and you're over there, let's sing good morning to you by giving each other a big wave. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. and daddies yet have we? I think we should go and give away to our mummies and daddies. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? We're glad to see you, we're glad to see you this happy Sabbath day. Good morning, happy Sabbath everyone. I hope that you have a really lovely Sabbath and it's good to see you all. Now we have many things that make up our body. We have feet, we have hands, we have a head, we have shoulders, lots of things that make up our body. But can you make any of those things make a noise? Try and think, how can we make a noise with the things that God gave us on our bodies? What if you take your hands and you clap? Oh, good job. Can you clap really loudly for me? Wow. Good job. Because I have hands that clap, clap, clap. Because they were made by Jesus. Let's sing, I have hands that clap, clap, clap. And I want to hear you clap really loudly. Ready? I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands. job. Now, what are these things at the end of our hands that I'm wiggling right now? Are they fingers? Can you make your fingers wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this as well? And how about you go around and you tickle your mummies and daddies and your brothers and sisters? Because we're going to sing, I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ready? I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I have fingers that wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. They were made by Jesus. Well done, everyone. Now, I need you to stand up and I want you to be really, really tall. Can you be really, really tall for me? When you're really, really tall, do you stand on your feet or, in fact, do you go on your toes? <gasps> you do go on your toes, don't you? And when we're on our toes, we can be really, quiet. Shh. So let's see if you can walk on your tippy tippy toes quietly around the room. Ready? I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. They were made by Jesus. Good job everyone. Now I think it's time that maybe we talk to Jesus. So we can talk to Jesus in many ways, but Jesus likes when we come and kneel down for him. So let's sing the end of our song as we're going to pray. I have feet that bend by my chair. I have hands that fold in prayer. I eyes closed and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you look after us. Thank you that you keep us safe. Thank you that you love us and you protect us in all that we do. 
Please be with us, Lord. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week and that we have wonderful times with our mummies and daddies and our brothers and sisters and anyone else we're with at this time. Thank you, Father, that all that you do for us. In your name I pray. Amen. What a lovely prayer. Well done, everyone. Those that do come to Cradle Roll Sabbath School are usually little ones. Are you one of my little ones out there? Can you put your hand up if you're one of my little ones? <gasps> there you are! All my lovely little children. Now when you come to my Sabbath School, we like to sing a song about Jesus loving us. Because we're the little ones. So can you show me Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Ready to sing? Let's sing Jesus Loves the Little Ones. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Good job, everyone. He really does love us little ones, doesn't he? But it's not just us little ones that come to Sabbath school. I wonder if you come with someone else. Can you think who that person might be? Maybe people. Don't you come with mummy and daddy? <gasps> so, are mummy and daddy little ones? <gasps> oh no, they're the grown-ups. But does Jesus love them too, because they're not a little one? Of course he does, because Jesus loves the older ones, like you, you and you. Let's stand up. Turn around and face our parents and let's sing Jesus Loves the Older Ones. Are you ready? Jesus loves the older ones like you, you, you. Jesus loves the older ones like you, you, you. Older ones like you. Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves the older ones like you, you, you. Excellent job. Well done. Jesus loves every single of us whether we're big or small. Now I wonder what the weather's like today. How do we find out what the weather's like? I know, could someone go to their window and have a look? I wonder if it's raining or sunny or windy or snowing. What's the weather like today? I hope it's very nice weather where you are. But what if it's raining? Raining is sad. It means we can't go outside unless we put our welly boots on. But actually, rain is a lovely thing because what rain does is it waters the ground. It waters the plants. So we have pretty flowers fruits and vegetables, which of course we like to eat, don't we? So the rain is actually a sign of God's love. So let's sing, the raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat. I want to see your raindrops falling with a pitter pitter pat, showing God is love. Are you ready? The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat. Pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat, the raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, showing God is love. Oh, good job! Rain is lovely, isn't it? And I love the pitter pitter pat that it makes as it falls. I think we should sing that song again. Are you ready with your raindrops? Ready with your raindrops? Let's sing. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, showing God is love. Good job, everyone. Even if the rain means we might have to stay indoors, it can actually do so many good things for the outside world. So the rain really does show God's love. Now it's time in our programme where we come and bring our pennies for Jesus. 
Have you got your pennies somewhere? I've got my pennies right here. Can you hear them? I don't have a purse, but I have them in my hand. And I have my special penny pot for them. So let's sing, hear the pennies dropping, and we can put our pennies in the pot. Are you ready? Hear the pennies dropping, listen while they fall. Everyone for Jesus, he shall have them all. Dropping, 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 hear the pennies fall. Everyone for Jesus, he shall have them all. Good job. Now let's pop our lids on the penny pot. Good job. Let's put our hands together, eyes closed, and let's sing Jesus Bless Our Offering. Jesus bless our offering. Jesus bless me too. Jesus bless our offering that others may know you. Amen. Well done for giving your pennies to Jesus. Can you think of something that God has made? God made so many wonderful things. He made us, he made the animals, he made the world. So many wonderful things. But there's something really beautiful that you can see in the sky sometimes. You can see it when it's raining and sunny at the same time. Can you think what I'm talking about? Is it something very colorful? very pretty. In fact, I think it's a beautiful rainbow. <gasps> Can you see my gorgeous rainbow with all the lovely pretty colours? They're very pretty, aren't they? Now, I'm sure at home you've got something very colourful like this. I have my own rainbows that we made for Cradle Roll. I'm going to wave these around and we're going to sing Who Made the Beautiful Rainbow? So go and find something colourful and let's sing our song together. Are you ready? Have you got something colourful? Then let's sing. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love him so. Job, wasn't that wonderful? So many pretty colours. Now I think it would be a good idea that we all stand up and we can walk around the room with our pretty colours. Let's sing again. Who made the just like the rainbow God made. Well done on finding something so colourful. Good morning boys and girls. It's nice to see you here on Sabbath morning. Well I wish I could see you but we are not at church again are we? But I hope you're happy in your homes and you are keeping well. Our story today is that about going to church, about Jesus going to church. Well, we can't go to church, can we? But we're going to listen to the reasons why Jesus went to church. Now, when you go to church, do you go in a car like this? Mmm, like that? Or do you go on a train? Some go on a train. Not quite that sort of train, but it's good enough. And some in an aeroplane. <laughs> but they land on sand and water sometimes. But do you think Jesus went to church like that? No, of course he didn't, because those things weren't invented then, were they? Jesus went to church on a donkey, but sometimes he walked. 
Now when Jesus went to church, everybody loved to hear him speak. And the children, look, the children just loved to hear him tell the stories all about sheep and goats and probably about bears and lions too. And he would have them sitting on his lap and he just loved to have the children around him just like you. But then he used to go to the big church like we have a big church. Now his was called a synagogue. Now that's very similar to the church that Jesus went to. Now this is one that has been rebuilt recently and he went to go in he went in there to teach the big people the adults the mummies and daddies now when he went in and talked to the mummies and daddies he used well we use a bible don't we and you have a bible storybook like this this is just for you but the mummies and daddies they use big bibles like this don't they well do you know what Jesus used what was called a scroll. Well, he didn't have Bibles like we had. He had a scroll and he would untie the scroll like this and he would unroll it and then he would read the scriptures like this to the people and he would explain all about the Word of God. Now, we have a scroll today and it has got our memory verse in it. It says, let us go to the house of the Lord. And if you look it up in your Bible book, it is found in Psalm 122, verse 1. Now we go to church and Jesus went to church because we love God and we want to show him how much we love him. And we can do that by learning our memory verse, by giving our money and our offerings. And you've got a little pot that you're putting your offerings in, aren't you? and singing the wonderful songs that you sing with Auntie Charlotte every week. Now that's showing us, showing everybody that you love Jesus and it's telling you that you love Jesus too. And that's what it's all about. Going to church, showing God that we love him and we do, don't we? That's our story for this week. Now. I hope we can see you soon, but have a very safe week, won't you? Because we miss you. Bye for now. It's now time in our programme where we say our memory verse together. So, let's all stand up and let's say our memory verse together. The first word is let. Let, written in green. Then us, us written in red, go, go written in yellow, two, two written in blue, the, the written in dark green, house, house written in black, of, of written in grey, the, the written in dark blue, lord, Lord written in pink. And we can find our memory verse in Psalm 122 verse 1. Psalm 122 verse 1 written in purple. So let's say our memory verse together after three. One, two, three. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Psalm 122 verse 1. Shall we say it again? Let's do that. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Psalm 122 verse 1. Well done. We learnt our memory verse together. Let's sing. I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. I want you to stand up and dance around. Ready? I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my memory verse on this bright Sabbath morning. Well done, everyone. We learned our memory verse.
us together. There are so many ways that we can praise our Lord together, but one of my favorite ways is singing hallelujahs to our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah means praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? So what we are going to do is we are going to sing hallelujah, hallelujah together. Now you know this one well, I'm sure. And when we sing hallelujah, you need to be sat down. And when we sing praise the Lord, you need to stand up. Okay, are you ready to try? I need everyone to sit down first. We're going to sing it slowly to begin with. Ready? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. job well done everyone should we try it a bit faster who wants to try it a bit faster say faster you want to try it faster okay everyone let's sit down ready for the hallelujahs hallelujah 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 praise ye the lord hallelujah 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 job you did so well but should we try it one more time as fast as we can <gasps> who wants to try it as fast as we can should we try oh good job are you okay you sat down you're all ready let's do this really fast hallelujah 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 praise ye the lord hallelujah 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 praise ye the lord praise ye the lord hallelujah praise ye the lord hallelujah praise ye Hallelujah! Praise ye the Lord! Well done everyone! That was so good! Isn't it wonderful to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and sing hallelujahs to Him? Well done everyone! Didn't we have fun today in Sabbath school? I know that I did. I love singing songs with you and worshipping God together. I loved our story too. So I think it's time that we end our Sabbath school. So let's say a prayer. I think everyone should stand up. That's it, stand up nice and tall. And let's put our hands together, eyes closed, and let's end our Sabbath school with a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the fun we had in Sabbath school today. Thank you that we were able to worship together, Lord, and that we could come together, sing songs, do activities, and listen to a really, really lovely story. Please protect us, Lord, and keep us safe until we meet again in Cradle Roll Sabbath School. In your name I pray, Amen. Let's sing our Sabbath School is over, ready to jump around. Our Sabbath School is over and we joining me in Crater Roll Sabbath School today. Please look after yourselves and your families. Until we meet again next time, God bless. Bye. Bye bye.